this has probably got auto save and again I, I if I were doing this on my own I would I would be habitually hitting command s over and over every few after especially after I do anything significant I hit I habitually hit command s but I can't also teach at the same time and do those things because I'm not that talented okay so we saved it it's all the changes are there thank you that's exactly what I should have done first so I've saved this project and now I want to export it file export I'm just going to use QuickTime. It happens to be the very first option. I hit QuickTime. Several things come up. Name it. Do not leave it sequence one. Again, you'll have 50 sequence ones. You don't know which sequence one you want. So we call this Wah Wah. And now we're going to be consistent and name everything the same way. It's, it's, going, to, it's going to my hard drive. Fine. That's good. I'm going to hit Save. Less than a minute. It's a very short movie. Longer movies are going to take a while. So again, even though the class is at one o'clock in the afternoon, if you're here next, well, two weeks from now, on Tuesday morning, and you are attempting to make it to class on time, you're going to be in trouble because you're going to hit. You're going to be saving, and you're going to be like five minutes. So oh, crap! And then you're going to be making a DVD. Ten minutes. Next thing you know, you're a half hour late, and I marked your absence, and I don't know what's going to happen at that point. Then you go to jail. Yeah. Okay. It, it finished. Fire. Good. Now, the first before I cut, uh, before I would quit and get out of and get out of Final Cut Pro, I would double check to make sure it's where I want it. And so we called it Wama, so I know it's going to be down here somewhere. And there it is, Wama Movie. So good. I have it. It's in my hard drive. I can safely now quit. Final Cut Pro, oops, and no, I'm not going to save this thing. <clears throat> so there we are, and this thing's freaking out. Now, the other thing that, again, should be down here that isn't is iDVD. So I need to go to Applications again. I guess I'm already in Applications. I need to find iDVD, and I'm going to drag it down to where it should be in the first goddamn place, and I don't know why it's not there in, anyway. So, there it is. So, iDVD is the most basic, easiest way to burn a DVD. Later on, in, if you take the editing class, I'll teach you Compressor and DVD Studio Pro, but if you're not in my program, you have to worry about it on your own. So, iDVD, that's all you need for this class. If you double click on the IVD logo, or again, like I had to find in applications, bring it up. Wait for it. Wait for it. That's the music. That's the default music. So it doesn't get too much simpler than this. I find, I'm going to go to, I'm going to find Wah Wah Movie, and I'm going to drag it and drop it into this drop zone. And as soon as that pops up, that is the play button. That's it. Now, if you want to get a little fancier, I can add, I, it has other drop zones. I can put the picture there so I can have like a little preview while the menu is going. And if you really want to get fancy, you can replace the music, but don't bother. So, or, I mean, bother if you want, actually. But otherwise, you're going you're gonna to hear this tune a lot in this class. And I'll drive you crazy. Yeah. So I'm essentially, re I'm basically ready. I've got it there. I see that it says wah wah. I know that that's the play button. All I have to do now is go down to this little symbol and click on it, and it's going to have the burn logo. That's going to pop open. It's going to say insert a recordable DVD disc. I happen to have one. Actually, one. I only have one left. I have to replenish my volunteer. And hopefully it's good. By the way, DVDs often are bad, and and you might not have experienced. I learned this that yet, the hard way. But but if something goes wrong, there's a good chance that you just happen to get a bad DVD. So just so you know, there, it, you could see everything could be set up right, and if it doesn't work, it might be the fact that your your DVD is defective. So hopefully this one isn't. I always use this button because it seems more professional than pushing it in with my hand. 
I'm also very paranoid when it comes to computers, very superstitious, and I don't like to do things that I think might screw it up. So when someone is doing something, I don't press any buttons, I don't open windows, I just let it do its job because I, I come from the old days when everything would crash a damn computer. So I just, I just let it, and that's the other reason I use the button instead of pushing it. I'm afraid it's going to screw it up somehow. I'm going to break it. So automatically, it's doing everything. And the fact that it's going and rendering menu video ass assets, that's a good sign. If something was wrong, it probably would have told me already. It would have come up with a warning, disk is full, or some other weird thing that doesn't make any sense, and you, and you have to just figure out what the hell's going on. But this is good. And it's going to take three, four, five, four minutes until it tells me. Of course, those are always useful when they start at like four and then they start going up. And then they drop down and then they go back up. So there we are. Four minutes. Okay. Questions? Right here. You want us to professionally label the DVD? Like, you know, get all fancy? I would, or just put our name. I want you guys to do the best work you are capable of doing. I, at the same time, I don't want you to freak <laughs> out. I, you don't have to get too fancy initially. Just get it to the point where you're going to be able to burn something onto a DVD, make it one minute long, and if it if it has menus, I mean, uh, well, menus would be great. If it has titles, great. If not, don't worry about it if, the, if you're new to this. But if you know what you're doing, please make something fantastic and make it as fantastic as you can. Gotcha. So. Uh, if you have beginning and ending credits, mm -hmm. would that be one minute also with the credits? That's, that, that, that include, that's included in the running time. Okay. So they should be mm -hmm. part of the running time. Uh, do they have to have credits? Here's a secret, really, guys. Really long credits. And I shouldn't Both be telling them. you this. I'm not going to have a stopwatch with me. Wait, do we need credits? <laughs> <laughs> so like if you pass a minute? <laughs> Three I'm hours. Not gonna, I, if I can like tell like a, if it's exactly. one a little a lot one way or the other, but I'm not gonna have a stopwatch. So I got one. Luckily. You got it. So we can. The restriction is there for a reason, but I'm not I'm not gonna be sitting there. Wait a minute. This is a minute. One o two. So like I said, I, I usually tell people after they're due. A minute point 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 one. Yeah. But try to get it. Try to get it a minute long, just for your own sake, so you get used to having that. Again, it's about control. This business is about control. You want to control the way things look. You want to control the way things sound, because you're trying to control the impact they have on their on your audience. That's what we do. Whether it's stills, whether it's uh, animation, we're still trying to have an impact, a, a controlled impact on our audience that that uh, influences them in the way that we're hoping to influence them. And if you if you figure out how to influence them exactly the way you want to every time on every movie, please let me know because no one in the world is successful all the time because there's too many variables. But that's what we're trying to do. So the only time you, you you're, we're always trying to manipulate the audience. The only time it's a bad word is when people can when it's obvious they're being manipulated and they get pissed because off. it's clumsy and cliche. That's when people go, oh, that was manipulative because the music came in. Right at that moment, do do do. Oh, I'm supposed to feel sad right now, right? Because you're doing it clumsily. We're trying to do it all the time. It's what it's about. But you want to you want to know all these rules. You want to know the technology, so you're doing it without people noticing. You're just taking them on a roller coaster ride. You're making them laugh. You're making them cry. They get done. They like, wow, that was fantastic. Got it? Okay. Is it done yet? It says about one minute. It sounds good. This is all good uh, noises that it's making right now. So it should, it's going to kick out when it's done, and we'll go see if it's any good upstairs. We'll make sure it plays. Again, make sure, take it out of here, go someplace else, that, take it home to a DVD player, throw it on a DVD player somewhere else. I wouldn't even necessarily trust the computers, but... Test it at least one place. <clears throat> Make sure it plays before class. Because if you put it in and I hit the play button and it do doesn't work, you're going to lose points. Yes, I will give you a chance to fix it and bring it in later. Yes, you will lose points. You, you get it? So test it first. Just make sure. That's all you have to do is have something that plays that's one minute long. That's it. Now, of course, I want it to be fantastic, but to... For the, for the sake of the grade, for the sake of the class, that's it. Boom. It's
It's going to tell me I'm done, and if I wanted to burn another disc... Oh, yeah, we should burn ten, because that movie's so fantastic. We want, I want to send it to my parents. Okay, I'm done. It's going to ask if I want to save it. I'm going to quit. I don't want to save it, because I, I think you guys know why. It's too awesome. Why didn't I quit? Oh, I hit cancel. Don't save is what I meant. Thanks. And again... All right, so now I'm going to do this properly. I'm going to eject, drag it to the thing. I'm going to eject the, the camera. I'm going to eject my hard drive. And I can put all this stuff away. Um, I'm going to do the camera first. I'm going to turn it to off. Disconnect this, disconnect this. I'm going to give this exactly. To I need it as much. Can you unplug the both of those from the one of the pieces? It's separate from this. Unless you got it from 